AI is the latest incarnation of this very natural human impulse that we've had. The, the impulse to predict, to control, to tell the future has always been a part of, of humanity. It's always been how we've tried to make sense of what would be otherwise be a very chaotic world that we live in. Whether it's throwing bones to make predictions or reading tea leaves or even a few hundred years ago looking at the shape of a person's face or the bumps on their head to get a sense of their personality and therefore how they're likely to behave. That idea of using data to make predictions basically says, oh, there are patterns in the data. Those patterns might predict what's happening in the future because if, if the future looks like the past. And so we should be able to extract those patterns from the data and use that to make the predictions we want. Whenever you collect data of any kind for any purpose, no matter how innocent or how benevolent, there is always this temptation. It is such a strong temptation to say, oh, I could sell this. I could make money off this. Hey, that money could help people, but I could monetize this data. That's a, the, the, the term, the neutral term, right? Monetize this data for some other purpose, and then you're off to the races. It's a ratchet. It goes in one direction. Once you start collecting data, you are almost never going to stop. Social media companies collect data about us. They use it for targeting, for ads. They use that data to sell to brokers because there's intelligence about you in that data that can be used to target you for other reasons. So there's a, there's a thriving you know, economy of information being spread around you. Now, when, the, when an administration says, oh, that data exists, I'm going to use it and plug it into some AI system to see if someone is making statements that can be construed as anti-Semitic or in support of Palestine or can be interpreted as, as I see fit to decide it, a threat to national security in some form. You're building an, uh, an apparatus of government surveillance over an ocean of data that's already been collected that's linked very closely to us as individuals. There's no way for me to de-link myself from my social media profiles at this point. And so the, the worst case scenario is governments turbocharge their collection of data. They strong arm companies into giving them more data that they need. They build this entire apparatus of surveillance to track and monitor what people are saying. AI systems are used to make invisible, inscrutable judgments that will affect our lives in ways we may not even begin to see. I mean, it sounds Kafka-esque because it is Kafka-esque and it could be that way.